family, and welcome back. We are going to be having a special edition. Holiday edition. Holiday edition gift guide, his and her. We're going to be giving you some of our favorites from low to lux price points. Yeah, of course, low to lux can be relative. Right. <laughs> but we want to make sure we covered as many price points as possible so it can, of course, fit whoever's budget is watching. Right. Um, so if you are new here and you enjoy this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It is totally free to support this channel. If you're not new here, welcome back. Go ahead and like and comment and make sure you subscribe from the top so you don't even forget. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> So the first gift I have for you to get your significant other is cologne. Um, cologne comes in various price points. You can get one relatively cheap, such as like a Sean John cologne. Uh, one of my personal favorites is Unforgivable. Now the clothes I can't vouch for, but the scent is stellar. And I probably get the most compliments on this actual cologne out of all my colognes. Um, while on the more luxurious end of things, you can do something as expensive as a uh, Yves Saint Laurent, which is another one of my favorite colognes. Um, definitely amazing smell, but at the same time, it's going to be a little higher price point than a good old Sean John. <laughs> cool thing about the cologne purchase is that not only does it benefit your significant other, but it also benefits you because your partner will be smelling amazing. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> So the number one item on my list of the her guide is jewelry. Um, surprise, surprise. <laughs> I think jewelry is such a perfect accessory or something that can accessorize every outfit from, you know, being a bride to a wedding guest to just jewelry that you may wear to the gym because it's your everyday jewelry that you sleep, you shower, and you just don't take it off. I'm that kind of person. Um, I just can't be bothered at the end of the night. Okay, so my first friend on the low end is Movement Watch. I, I think you got me a watch from there like two or three years ago, and um, I'm actually wearing it today for the video. I still love it. It's just like a really pretty rose gold. Um, it's the Boulevard watch. And yeah, they just have some like really pretty designs at like really comfortable price points. <laughs> Um, I also really like Misoma. Um, I wear these earrings like almost every day. They have like super beautiful rings um, and all of their stuff is either fine jewelry or um, I believe 18 karat gold vermeil, which is like a gold plating over sterling silver, but it doesn't tarnish. Again, I still shower and sleep in a lot of this jewelry. Um, on the higher end, this black owned, woman owned brand, Omi Woods or Omi Woods, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, but they ethically and locally source a lot of fine jewelry, 18 karat gold, 14 karat gold from Africa. So um, yeah, it, of course it's gonna be on the higher end because you're getting fine jewelry, but totally worth it. Um, I don't have any, I'm not wearing any of those pieces right now. Um, and on the high, high end, there is Cartier, which um, I'm sure we're familiar with. They have things, you know, that range from $800 to like, you know, 25,000 and beyond. Yeah, and I'm obviously not gonna recommend like a $25,000 piece, but I think a nice entry level jewelry for your significant other is their Cartier Love Ring, which I am actually wearing on, um, stacked with my Misoma ring. I don't know if you can like yeah, really see yeah, that. Yeah, since you got brass knuckles on. <laughs> Um, so yeah, anyway, it, it pairs really well together, like again, low to high end. Um, so that's like, if you wanted to kind of get into like entry level fine jewelry, that's the way to do it with rings. So number two on the his guide are headphones, especially nowadays with a lot of people working remote. Um, it's definitely a good purchase to have a solid pair of headphones that you can use, whether you're listening for for personal time, or listening for it at work. Yeah, conference calls. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> so my favorite are the Sony 1000 XM3s. Um, I did quite a bit of research. I'm really into music, so um, the quality of headphones is definitely a very important aspect of my mm -hmm. life. Um, I actually tried out the Bose speakers, which are a little more expensive, but have more bass. And I also tried out um, the Beats, which probably are cheaper, but have uh, not as strong quality. So I feel like Sony's also perfectly... The Sorry, the AirPod Pros. Yeah, AirPod, AirPod Pros, they work for some people. For my ears, for some reason, I wouldn't be able to stay in. <laughs> so it really depends on your ear and the shape of your head. Um, but otherwise, <laughs> the Sony's are definitely right in the middle. They have amazing sound quality, pretty affordable, and I really can't go anywhere without them, to be honest with you. Yeah, you do wear those like quite a bit. <laughs> also, the noise canceling on it is like superb. Like I could not hear Rian talk to me if I had these on with noise canceling on. So yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> number two on the her guide is white sneakers 
I just think that white sneakers are quintessential classics. And as long as you know your girl's shoe size, you can't really go wrong. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be showing some of my favorites from like the low end to a little bit higher. Um, these are called Beja or Beja. They're a Brazilian brand. And I really love what the brand stands for because they make the rubber sole with 100% recycled plastic from the favelas. So it is... Um, I don't know, just like ethically sourced and made and they pay their workers living wages. So I just think that's awesome. Um, for a like similar vibe on the uh, luxe side are my Givenchy low top urban streetwear sneakers, which I also really love. They're 100% leather though. Um, and definitely a quite a bit more <laughs> than the sneakers that honestly give like really similar vibes. Exact same vibe, except for the laces. <laughs> Anyway, it's, it's like really hard to see with the lighting. Sorry, yeah, guys. No. But anyway, these are like really um, comparable shoes at not comparable price points. So, you know, you decide what, you know, you want. Yeah. Or you can buy the <laughs> laces and throw them on the cheaper shoes and really be balling. But anyway, um, <laughs> similar if you're like super into the sneaker look. I love my APLs. I have like six pairs now, actually. Oh, my gosh. It's so hard to show. We'll also like I'll insert some. Um some camera rolls because yeah the lighting is too bright for white sneakers anyhow <laughs> these APLs are so comfortable um they're very very light I love to do sprints in these or even long runs um because even though they're really light they also have the support so um I have like a casual pairs that I you know don't work out in these are my casual ones I have that's how much I love them they are you know a decent price point they're on the $200 range but um comparable to that because if you like to wear your sneakers we're just wherever, not the gym. Um, a lot of people really love Yeezys. Uh, they are comfortable, I can't lie. I don't know if they're worth the price per se, because I do find my APLs to be like just as light, um, maybe not as comfortable, but just as light. So again, you know, if you, just depends on your price point, well, how much you wanna spend. You can go with the Yeezys, you can, these are the um, 350 E2, I believe. Um, and then yeah, these are the APLs. So yeah. Sneakers, <laughs> white sneakers. Number three on the His Guide, since this is a channel on money and marriage, is pay a bill. <laughs> You're so annoying. There is no greater gift <laughs> than opening up something that says it is paid. Um, of course, from, from low end to lux, you can pay like the water bill or cable bill, or if you want to just cover rent or mortgage for that month, <laughs> that would be a huge gift. I know all my friends would really appreciate that, um, especially if you know it's someone like maybe your husband um, just doesn't spend a lot on himself because you're not only paying for the convenience of not having to pay that bill, but you're also letting him have cash in his pocket that he can actually use to buy something that he wants. So it's a very nice gesture um, that means so much and it's not the most theatric, um, but I can guarantee they'll appreciate it. <laughs> and what you've all been waiting for. What you've been waiting three. for. What you've been waiting for. Handbags. Yay. Okay. Um, so, I mean, handbags can be ridiculously priced. You know, a lot of time you're paying for the designer name, whatever. But there are differences in the quality of leather, um, real leather versus vegan leather. Um, and also there are canvas bags. So on the low end, I think a good way to save money is to go for canvas over leather. Now, canvas is very popular with Louis Vuitton. Um, it is this like hard material um, and it's kind of like what they're known for actually they have like the hardest scratch resistance um canvas and that's why this house was originally designed for luggage now it's made for like cute little bags of like whatever size um and other houses um designer houses like you know gucci has like a really nice canvas uh saint laurent Celine, they all have canvas as well and it's really popular on tote bags so in general when you're pricing handbags totes like the very large bags kind of like the this is like a baby tote i don't tend to wear totes because i'm so like petite it drowns my body out but if you are like an average sized woman that's not your issue then yeah if you're looking at tote bags they're larger um i guess it doesn't take as much detailing to create versus when you're making like a mini bag um by hand it takes a lot more like time and effort and so mini bags you'll notice are priced at higher points than tote bags so if you're looking for a way to like get a designer bag and not you know be eating ramen all week um go for like a larger tote bag go for canvas over leather um another way to do it is to go for vegan leather altogether. um tough 
Telfar, excuse me, is like uh, an up and coming brand, black owned. I think their slogan is actually not for you, for everyone. So they don't want to be this like exclusive snobby Birkin brand, right? They want to be um, accessible. So the price points are accessible. Um, it's it's vegan leather, but I heard it's like super nice quality, really supple. And yeah, it's black owned. So I'm always about supporting that. So that's another way to go. Very on trend. If you can get your girl a Telfar, I think she would be very impressed because, you know, you have to like sign up for like an email list when they'll announce when different colorways are coming out and then you have to like wake up at like 9 a.m or whatever the release time is and you know put in your cart so that's like a really <laughs> nice gift so the fourth item on the his guide is a massage gun so whether your significant other is a super active person like lifting weights or playing basketball or they're doing a lot of manual labor on the job the massage gun is a definitely need purchase it's probably one of our favorite devices here in the household because we are fairly active mm -hmm. um you can find them fairly cheap on instagram they range excuse me on, on amazon <laughs> um ranging from around 50 dollars to a scene as high as like 500 um yeah. we bought this one for around 100 dollars or so give or take um very has multiple speeds and it's probably again a very super helpful device yeah it's like multiple speed multiple pressure points and you could also um toggle these like um ends on and off to have like different it hits different pressure points muscle wise um and when we were doing research for it we were like okay like there's the same thing seemingly for 600 dollars, and this one was like 119 so it's just like should we be getting the 600 dollar one like what are we missing but yeah we we went ahead with this one and just figured we can exchange if we needed to and we haven't so um yeah quality wise this like a hundred dollar boy was just as, just as, just like, as 30, yeah. yeah the 600 dollar one all right, and number four for me is small leather goods. Um, I think that, again, this is a mix of low and luxury at the same time. Um, I just find these so cute to, like, you know, pull out of whatever bag and you just have a little, I don't know, uh, cute <clears throat> design from like whatever house is your favorite um as you can see i really like ysl i think that well this is the current one i'm using obviously but you get these card slots and they're about two hundred dollars um and yes, then that's like the that's for in. your money yeah i mean this is like low luck <laughs> together right okay, I mean, let's, let's clarify that <laughs> <laughs> it is a wallet like i literally have actually you're supposed to put like one card each i have like two um it is a wallet i have all my cards that i need i have my cash slot that i need um i could also fit coins in there if i needed to um and yeah it's just like a cute little flex when you pull out of your like telephone bag right um i just think it's it's just so cute this is a key holder um this one i got personalized with like my initials I think is really cute if I'm really trying to downsize and I do need my car keys you add your car keys here I can put a credit card here right and you just fold this up and you have like your small bag or you put it in your um your jacket pocket what have you and this is like all you need um and this is like another you know small of a good it's a wallet it trifolds there's like a slot back here where um when I used to ride BART I'd put my BART card back there so I can just hit it on the thing and not have to like touch it because I think that's gross um <laughs> trifolds you have your card slots you have something for like your coins so yeah I just think it is a nice way again if you wanted to have like a luxury or designer good but you didn't want to pay the price point for like a three thousand dollar bag you can instead spend three hundred dollars on a wallet so yeah <laughs> And number five on the his guide is a video game system. So again, they range from not as expensive to luxurious. Um, one that's very affordable is the Nintendo Switch. Um, this is a really cool console only because it has like a lot of friendly like Mario games that you can play. My wife and I are pretty competitive, so we enjoy going head to head on like Mario Kart and we recently bought Mario Tennis, um, a great bonding video game mm -hmm. console. Now, if your significant other is a serious gamer, um, of course, the new PlayStation 5 and the new Xbox are also out there as well. Those are about $100 more, uh, but definitely for the more like serial, serious gamer that plays like Call of Duty, mm -hmm. Madden, and um, FIFA and all that good stuff. So yeah. depending upon what your significant other's into, that's what, those are definitely good purchases. Yeah, and I really like about the Switch console that um, you can take it and play like... Uh, what is it called portable um but these little guys you can ha get covers for so like i've seen really pretty like champagne gold ones or like off-white so you can like share the gift so if for some reason you wanted to take it for the weekend because you had a business trip separately you can switch out these covers to make it cute and then yeah i would actually carry this around but not in this like <laughs> blue red situation um so yeah i think that also is a great gift and my number five is also more practical um i i have these i'm not gonna like obviously go grab from the kitchen but um the nespresso 
Um, my goodness, that has been my source of joy every morning, all quarantine. Um, I haven't had to go to Starbucks or any other house to get my coffee. Um, yeah, I think that the Nespresso has like such a large range of flavors. I'm a big proponent of the Virtuo line. I feel like the original line, they are putting out less and less accessories and um, coffee pod flavors for, and they're like focusing all their energy on the Virtuo machines. They have Virtuo Next, Premium, um, Deluxe, and yeah, I just... I just bring you so much joy. Um, <laughs> you can catch them on sale a lot, whether it's on the direct website or on Amazon, especially um, during this like holiday time. So there will be a lot of sales or even after the after Christmas, I'm sure they'll go back on sale again. <laughs> um, okay, so we hope that you enjoyed this. We've shown you kind of like uh, a range of things to buy from every price point. So let us know if there's anything on our list that um, you want more information on or that you're going to look into buying, or if there's anything that you want to add to our subscribers, leave it in the comment. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with a friend. Um, it's free to support this channel, so any support goes a long way. Till next time.